Hi folks, I am going to introduce you to Illustrator because I think this is really going to be easier than Photoshop for you to um, go and work with some of these different color diagrams that will help you learn um, about color contrast. So what I have here um, is a Illustrator document that I am providing for you. So you're going to work from this document. So you're going to be able to open Illustrator first. So you go to Illustrator and then you go to open and then you will look for the file that I've created which is digital um, six layout and you will hit the button that says open um, and it will open for you I already have it open so it's grayed out so but you need to open Illustrator first because if you just double click on a PDF it's going to open it in, in Acrobat so again open Illustrator and then go from Illustrator, say File, Open, and then find out where you've saved this file. Um, I'm showing it to you on your, my screen so you can see that there's four diagrams and then the top one is four color swatches. So I'm going to zoom in to this top page here. And um, here I have just used different um, CMYK, but you're going to use something that's um, different, something that you really will enjoy. So here is the color palette tool um, on your screen I'm going to move my window here a little bit there so here is the top navigation bar here for Adobe Illustrator um, when you use this program you want to be under window workspace essentials classic then your screen is going to look like mine does it gives you many more um, tools right at your fingertips okay so again under Window, Workspace, Essentials Classic. Now I am going to go to my color palette here. If yours does not look like this, it may open like this, or it may open looking like grayscale. So this palette here, um, Adobe has these extra little, the most important pieces are in these little tiny arrows. And um, I call this the hamburger which will switch you to CMYK. So under the hamburger, you can access CMYK. And then here, if your file is small like this, you click that to open this whole piece here. And so now we have these sliders, the CMYK, and you can just move them around to make any color you want, whatever you want it to be, okay? And then you're gonna go and click on the next box and you're going to move the sliders to be something completely different. Um, you might want to play with too muted and too more um, very strong chromatic hues or you know whatever you want. You might want to play with lakes and darks. Um, let's see, I'm going to try to get a maybe something that's sort of a blue in here. There. I want that to be a little more muted. So again when you're mixing with these um, with these here. Notice I haven't been using the black. I'm not going to use black. I'm just using the um, more chromatic colors. But so this blue, um, if I want it to be more um, saturated, so blue, the opposite of blue is, um, sorry, I'm just blinking, is orange. So that would be magenta and yellow would make orange. So if I add more magenta and more yellow, see how it's muted it? If I pull the magenta and the yellow away and it makes it more bright. So again with this green, this is low saturation because I've got um, cyan and yellow and oops, I don't want to put that black in there. I'm going to, um, but I want to make it more less saturated so I can add magenta, the complementary color. Okay, let me make sure I didn't use black. I'm not going to have you use black in any of these, okay? There we go. So um, here's my mix. So I can drag over, I can click up in a blank spot and drag over so they all get selected. I'm going to scroll my mouse down. I'm going to hit Command key on my keyboard, um, which might be different on a PC. I think it's Alt um, to copy. But you can also go up to Edit and you can copy here. So it'll show you what it is on a PC. Um, so it's Command X on a Mac and then you can, um, sorry, copy, and then you paste, sorry, so Command C, Command V, okay? So here I've pasted it, and I'm doing that just because I want to have it nearby. 
So I'm going to click the background color. I'm going to use this tool, the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to grab color. So I'm going to unclick, which I go back to the black arrow to unclick. I'm going to pick the pink, and I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can select all these pink boxes at once. And then I'm going to grab the green, and then I'm going to unclick, and I'm going to grab the yellow, and I'm going to grab the orange, and then I'm going to click, hold down my shift key so I can collect both of these boxes, and I'm going to kick the one, pick the one color I haven't used yet. Okay, so this is one color combination. Now over here, I am going to use the eyedropper and collect a different color for the background. Again, I'm going to pick these pink boxes all together by holding down the shift key while I click on them. I'm going to grab maybe the purple this time. Click the black to unclick, and then I can click um, the blue, holding down the shift key to grab both. Grab the eyedropper, I'll grab that orange, use the black to unclick, click the yellow, um, grab the eyedropper to grab the blue. Okay, and then I go back to this black arrow to unclick. I'm going to drag this box again by clicking off of it and dragging down. I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to scroll down, pick it up again. And so now I want to, I'm going to make sure I can see this window a little bit so I can see what I haven't done. I'm going to grab this again by clicking on it. Grab the eyedropper. I haven't used an orange background. I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab those pink boxes. Grab my eyedropper. I haven't used the blue as a background. Unclick. Um, click the light blue boxes. Grab the eyedropper. I haven't used green yet. And then I'm going to um, pick the yellow, grab the eyedropper, and make that the purple. The only color I haven't used here now, I'm going to grab the um, blue. I'm going to switch to one of these arrows to unclick. I'm going to hold and click the pink. I'm going to take my eyedropper. I have not yet used the orange. And then I'm going to click on the yellow, grab the eyedropper, and grab, I haven't used green, and then I'm going to grab the blue, and the last color I haven't used for this is the purple. So now I'm going to zoom out by command minus, command plus increases command minus, um, makes it smaller. So now you can see all of my patterns here, how it looks very different. Same colors, but um, the proportions of the color change the composition a lot. So now that I'm done with this, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Save As. I am going to use my last name, Lily, and this was Digital um, 6. Put a dot in there, Digital 6. And I'm going to save it as a PDF. So here, if your format says AI, you would scroll till it says PDF. You may, your window may look like this. Um, if your window looks like this, you click this little box here, which will expand it. So I can see, even if I didn't expand that, I can still see this um, PDF. But what helps when I expand it, I can look where I want to save my files so that you can manage your files. So. I always recommend saving files to your desktop so you can click um, over on the left to your desktop and then if your desktop is set the same way you may not be able to do that but here you can also click desktop from here right there and you can save to your desktop. Save as a PDF and so then when I go get all these things out of the way Got a lot of stuff open here, don't I? Um, I can find my digital file on my desktop, and then you will load that to Blackboard. Okay? Good luck.